Welcome back, beautiful people. This is part two of our horses drawing. Last we left off, we had gotten our nice little outline of everything, and we're now ready to add some details to our horse. Uh, before we begin, let's go over what you should have. You should have your first part of your horse drawing, your pencil with, remember, the eraser. And then at the end, you're gonna want something to color it with. I like colored pencils, so I've got mine ready to go. Uh, but crayons would work as well. We're gonna start by erasing all the parts we don't need anymore. So go ahead and go through it. And erase all of these inside portions. You wanna keep those outlines best you can. This would also be a good time to go back and see if there's anything you need to fix. If the proportions look wrong to you, you can always fix that as well. Okay, if you did what I asked, then you would have drawn very lightly enough that you can pretty much erase everything. I can still see some parts, but once we add the color, all that will be gone. So we're gonna start by, we're gonna start by looking at the face of the horse. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is darken the parts that we're gonna keep. So this part right here is probably going to stay that same shape. So I'm just going to darken it a little bit. Now this part I do need to change a little bit because we got to give this horse um, a jaw and a mouth. So instead of going straight from here to here, we're actually going to bring it in a little bit and then go around that circular area. Uh, but we don't want a circle. We want more of like kind of like a triangle, not a triangle, um, a square type of shape. So if we imagine that the circle's back there, we are gonna go straight, straight, and then that shape. Now, I think I brought mine up maybe a little too much. So I'm just gonna fix that real fast. Bring this part down a little bit. Got this line, that. Okay. There you go. Now we're starting to get the shape of the horse's mouth. Okay, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is just get this part curved up a little bit for that jawline. This is too pointed, so I'm just gonna fix that a little bit, more curvy. There we go. Now we've got our basic shape and we can start adding our other little details. Okay, now let's do the ears, and they're kind of a weird shape. So what you're going to do is whichever way your horse is facing, that's where your ears are gonna be flat. So for example, my horse is facing to the right. So I'm gonna put a little flat line here to show me, okay, that's where the ears are gonna be facing as well. And then I'm going to go back diagonally, and then this is also gonna go back diagonally. I know right now it looks kind of weird, but this is our basic shape we're starting with. Um, you can curve this one a little bit so it's not so straight, um, but we're gonna, we'll add to that in just a second. Okay, next we're gonna do the eye, and it's gonna be up here, kind of near the ear, um, and the top of the head. And you kind of want it to be like a lemon shape, 
so not quite circle, not quite oval, but more of like a, like um, like a lemon. <laughs> okay, so once you get that general shape, and then we're going to put that little pupil part in. Maybe a little bit wider. Like that, okay. And then for the nose, we're going to do half a circle, like a crescent shape. And it's gonna be in this corner over here that we created. And you just make that little curve. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so then we're going to shade that part in a little bit. Now we can start getting some of those details in. So about right here, so halfway between these two bottom corners, we're gonna put a line in for the horse's mouth. If you want, you could add a little extra bump. It's getting hard to see because all the erasing there we go. Extra little bump right there. There's the horse's mouth. And you just want a line for the horse's mouth, not like an open mouth or anything. Okay. And then we need to get the shape of those eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit more of a point here. I'm gonna bring this back a little. I'm gonna give it that little point. I'm gonna do the other horse's ear, just copy what I had before. You can always go back and fix this one if you think it's too skinny, which I think it might be. Okay. I'm gonna add a line for about here, down. That'll tell me where to shadow my horse's head. So we're just gonna leave that there for a second. Okay. I also am gonna need a shadow about here, down to here. So it kinda looks like you're giving your horse like those little cheeks. You'll have a little shadow mark there. Okay, I'm gonna darken the eyes. And then this is when you can go through and you can decide how do you want your hair to look or the mane. So you could have some parts flowing through the front. I like to start where it's like comes out between the ears and can flow to the right. Give it some wispies. And all I'm doing is making this motion right here start in between the ears and I go down and up. Just making a bunch of those little motions, some of them shorter some of them longer, and that's how you get that little effect. Okay, And then to get the longer part of the mane on this side, I'm gonna do something similar. I'll make some short ones, like that. But then I'm also gonna have some come down, maybe curve up a little. We're trying to get a little shape of what the mane could look like. Just play with it a little bit. If you don't like it, you can always go back, race it, fix it, you know. And then that'll just help you figure out where your horse's mane is going to look. Ooh, I'm getting a little crazy with this mane. I might have to go back through and fix it at some point. For now, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. I wanna make sure I'm hiding the other ear so it looks like it's, the mane is kind of covering it. There you go. Okay. Let's go into some of the other details. Look at it and you're like, wow, my horse's face looks a little too small. You can always just make it slightly bigger. I'm gonna just open that up just a teeny bit. 
that way I can make that nostril a little bigger. There we go. And you can play around with that until you get the size that you want. Oof. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's get into the rest of the body. Um, remember, this is the line that's gonna help you define that muscle. It should be going from about the jawline down to the shoulder. So something like that. Don't make it too dark because we don't need it to be that defined. Um, I'm gonna take this shoulder part, bring it up a little. There you go. And I don't want them to attach, so make sure you fix that. And then I'm gonna actually have it come back to where that bump in my shoulder that I had created, that like bone area. Just another shadow line for my, my shoulder of my horse. And then I'm gonna just do like a little line up here as well to show, okay, these, this is that muscle bulge that we're looking for in the horse so it can help us more define it. We want our horse to look like it's muscular. Okay, to get more lines in here, I'm gonna take this back leg, and I think I made it come out a little too far. I'm gonna just bring it a little more straight up. There you go. And then just to make sure I know where a shadow needs to be, I'm gonna keep going with that line, but very lightly. And then I'm gonna go across and down. And then you get the look of like where the ribs would be for the horse where they would stop and then where you would have just the belly of your horse and we're just doing a very light line so when we color it later we've got that um, we can add some more lines to our horse's leg so I'm gonna just put a line again it's not touching that side of the leg but it's going from about this circle joint down to the ankle joint that long Okay, up here, I'm gonna just do a very faint line. And this is just helping me figure out some muscle lines that I'm, it's gonna help me when I color it later. And then I'm gonna do one more to just show that this curves like the tendon. And there you go. Okay, let's keep moving on this. Okay, with the tail, so if this is the top of the butt, you're going to follow where it like slopes down and we're gonna give that little tailbone, which is about like that, and that's where the hair is gonna come off. So I just like to, I don't make it curly or anything. You could if you wanted to. I just kinda make it straight, different lengths, just to show where that hair is coming from off the tail. Okay. okay, just go through and figure out how you want it to look. Sorry, I realize I don't like how it looks that way, so I'm gonna make it a little bit more flatter. There you go. Give it some poof to it. Maybe have it come out a little bit more there. That way you can get the flatness of the tail. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna go through and fix the mane real fast. Okay, I realize if my tail is going to be um, long and straight that I should probably make my mane long and straight. So now that you see how to do it, curly let me fix it and make it straight and then look at that you got two examples on how to do the hair Oof! I need to stop erasing so much I'm gonna rip my paper soon okay so if I'm trying to get it to be more straight um, then it won't come off the neck so much so maybe I'll just draw a little outline of what it looks usually goes to about there the shoulder bone then it stops and since it's gonna be straight like this one, it's gonna go flat against the horse, so it'll be shorter on top. And come down a little bit. And 
and across the across the shoulders. Okay, and there we got kind of the outline out of it. I'm just adding some lines to make it a little bit thicker. I'm obviously getting a little too much erasing in because now it's starting to be hard to see. So bear with me. I'm just gonna shorten the ears a little bit because they're a bit long. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this straight hair in the front. Um, poof out. Okay, that's good. Much better. Now we've got the straightness matching with what we're seeing in the back. I'm just adding some lines here. Just make it look like it matches. Okay. So once you get to this point, then you're pretty much done with your horse and you can just go through and make some adjustments. I think I made my horse's eye a little bit too big, so I'm gonna go through and fix that. Oof. Okay, and now I've kind of got what my horse will look like, and so now I can take my colors, and I can start making it look more like a horse. Oh, this triangle is way too high up. Oh, much better. Okay, now I can start adding my colors. And you can decide how you want to make your horse to look. There's lots of different kinds of horses. So you may want to look through and find the horse type that you like the most in the coloring of it. And then you can start adding those little details and colors to it. You're gonna wanna shade in certain parts and I can show you real fast. Uh, one part that you might wanna shade in is where the neck is kind of hidden. So down here would be shaded in. Um, under the jaw would be shaded in. And when I say shade in, I just mean you color it in a little bit to darken it. Um, this back leg is going to be shaded in as well as this back leg. And I'm just adding just a little bit to help me show the shadows. And then this under part is going to be shaded in a little. Just adding a little bit of texture. And then of course this under part. And that helps get your shadows going. Uh, maybe a little bit in this back carriage. Okay, and then under his chest, the shoulder. Okay, and you've got some shadows in there. Now when you add the color, you've already got those shadows pre-made. There you go. Add some color, make it look awesome, and I'm excited to see what they look like.